Well, hello and welcome to Ultimate General American Revolution, friends. Today we're going to be playing as a general, of course, and I'm calling him William Bryce. I wanted to skip the whole intro element so that you guys could just see the campaign from the beginning onwards. We're going to go for a bit of a Nathaniel Green Let's Play. The idea here being using the forest, using the trees as cover to try and strike back at the imperialist foe. We'll see how things go and see if we can't beat the British here. Um, one thing I am going to do in this campaign, I'm going to treat it like a proper campaign, so I am not going to play the Battle of Lexington and Concord. We are going to leave that to the commander's on scene. What we will do though is go ahead and begin upgrading these units. If any of you guys are from the states of these units, Connecticut or um, the other ones we're going to encounter, New Jersey and New Hampshire, etc., let us know in the comments down below what state you're from and which of these units you want to represent. We've got good old Hartford over here, Hartford, Connecticut, and I am going to jump in here and actually try and get some artillery rounds. Or is it Hartford, Pennsylvania? Shame on me. Uh, let's go to artillery and simply add a three-pounder galloper gun. In fact, we only have four in the arsenal. Uh, nonetheless, that's what I'm looking for is some artillery. Um, and let's go ahead and get a militia unit. We're going to have Jay Richardson actually lead this one. And it's going to take us some time to actually get the necessary equipment for it. But in the meantime, we are going to continue on through um, with these units, Wilcox and Latrobe, uh, and hopefully start grabbing territory. At this point, I really just want to wait for additional forces to join us. Um, and again, we are not going to be playing the Battle of Concord. We're going to focus on Providence, Rhode Island over here, um, and hopefully we can take it quickly. Let's move forward, just get over here to the edge of the forest, and I am just simply waiting for some additional units. We've got the survivors of the Battle of Concord. Um, we can bring them into the fight fairly soon. But again, what we're really trying to get is sufficient guns for our units here at Hartford. We don't have enough for the artillery. Nonetheless, we're going to have to take what we've got here under Richardson and start um, preparing our offensive. Not really much to work with right here. I think we're going to move into Leicester, and hopefully there'll be some additional units that join us once we get there. Uh, but so far, you know, no luck. Um, we don't have many people willing to fight under Bryce. But there we go. We found Dearborn, some additional men, uh, the 84th Continental. Um, and it looks like we've got some Massachusetts Patriots there, the 84th Continental under Dearborn, that have formed a militia. I'm going to go ahead and actually give them a discipline training. And the reason I like the discipline training is it's a big deal in these battles. Um, it's very easy for the enemy to break you if you are not well disciplined, of course. Um, and that's not something we want to deal with. So I'm also going to go ahead and take the units from Leicester here, the Massachusetts Militia. And we are going to rise up under Bryce. And I am headed to Providence, Rhode Island here. Trying to, of course, attack in force. We don't have much in the way of the artillery, and that's what I want to get more of. Given some time, we'll actually be able to purchase artillery, which is what I am hoping for. But right now, I just want to liberate Providence um, and get it out from under the yoke of uh, colonial oppression. Here we go. Move in there. Or America. I was really trying to get a Mel Gibson picture and just just do a total fake RP playthrough of this. But um, we were going to go with Bryce just because I think it's a realistic name for the time. Um, and a realistic sort of general. So uh, put quite simply, we're going to go with General Bryce. What I will do is um, fast forward just a little bit here. I just want to make sure the formation is right. And I am going to advance on Providence. I'm hoping we can simply have them retreat, um, which I think is going to be the case. In fact, we're just going to get our guys into formation and see if we can cause that retreat to occur without even engaging. I think it's probably going to be best for us to engage but i think they're just going to retreat immediately from the battlefield um that's a likely outcome right here which allows us to liberate this town in our quest 
for glory here, of course. Over time, we'll be unlocking different areas, but for now, let's stick to this area. We secured the Forester Hut. Let's take a look. So they actually are advancing. Are they actually going to try and fight? Maybe. Okay. Fair enough. Just going to go over here, and there we go, Victory. That's what I thought. Back to the global map. No casualties or losses are any side. Uh, on either side. We'll just call that um, an automatic victory, of course, with the enemy retreating and falling away from the city uh, in an effort to reserve their forces or save their forces, which I think is the right move. All right, so let's go ahead and take Bryce. This will be his first liberation, um, taking, of course, Providence. I'm hoping the people will appreciate it. Right now, we don't really have any units that are in desperate need of reinforcement, so we'll continue the offensive. Um, we'll take this location, and I am going to go straight for Newport News over here. I might also go for Middleborough, uh, but I think we're going to give it a rest and essentially just take these locations. That way, these four areas are under continental control 100%. <coughs> All right, Providence has been liberated. Already captured Providence, but maybe that takes a little longer. And again, I'm just going straight for Newport. Now, that's bad news. Of course, um, the British are sending troops. However, we got 10 victory points for capturing Providence there. But of course, with the British sending troops, it's going to make our job quite a bit harder. Um, again, I'd like to engage here, but I don't see the enemy as wanting to actually fight this battle. So we'll simply begin, get them to retreat. And at this point, we are going to have to send some of our men into these towns so that we can get some recruits. We've lost a few men in these engagements, not many, but enough to matter. Uh, and I think that's going to be the first order of business is to uh, reform some of these units, add additional forces to them. There we go. Yep, just as I thought. We'll we'll get a serious battle in here uh, very soon. The enemy needs to be able to actually withstand our forces first. At this point, they are just retreating as quickly as possible and allowing us to take these areas. Um, trading space for time, of course. The good old trading space for time. We've also got some forces over there at Portsmouth, but I am not going to be able to grab them. Uh, we will, however, take Newport over here. And I think we're going to send in the 84th Continental to Newport um, just to get them some additional forces. Uh, some additional ammunition, etc. And then we will continue chasing the enemy. Uh, I want you guys, of course, in the comments down below, give any tactical advice you'd like. Um, I'm really, again, trying to approach this like Nathaniel Green, and I'm trying to be very careful with my attacks. I don't just want to attack um, in crazy situations. Um, so that's what we're going to try to avoid. Let's just take a look here. So we're going to take this unit. Oh. And send him right into town. The rest of these guys look okay. And I'm just looking around to see if we have any additional forces. Again, with the reinforcements landing, they are going to have troops at Middlesbrough very, very soon. And I want to keep that in mind because that's going to be an issue, of course. I'm also trying to take a look um, at our HQ. We're not really too concerned with our HQ right now, um, but we always need officer recruitment. And we need to get the quartermaster department um, assigned. And the reason is because, of course, we need reinforcements. We need resupply. Um, and for that, we do need a quartermaster. However, getting additional officers is quite important. All right, some Connecticut Patriots have joined the fight. I love to see it. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and take our units from Hartford, Connecticut, move them over here um, to Newport News. And hopefully by the time they get there, the um, units over here will be ready to go. Every day, um, we get some additional recruits. Right now, we're just looking at regular civilian population. But as you can see, 37 recruits have decided to join um, and... They do want us to do a research project here. Which, of course, we are researching the quartermaster department at the moment. I am going to get these guys out of Newport fairly soon here. I think they're ready to go. And some additional patriots this time from the great state of Pennsylvania, guys. Uh, we're going to grab them. 
bring them over here. I'm sure I'm getting my, my states horribly wrong. But we're going to wait for that uh, unit to arrive. Then we'll actually have quite a strong force here. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for the enemy to withstand us. So let's go ahead. Come on. Come on. And again, with the few pieces of artillery we have, I hope it's enough to give the enemy a run for their money. So one thing we have to keep in mind, guys, is... Um, oh, it's been reported Spain and France have decided to... Okay, thanks for... Thanks for cutting me off. Um, one thing we have to keep in mind um, is right now the British forces are just arriving um, with the reinforcements. Uh, so they're going to be quite strong. We don't want to get ourselves too out of control or get ourselves into too crazy a situation. Uh, and we always want to have the woods at our back. So as you can see, I always want the forest supporting my men. Uh, in fact, I'm going to try to just have them meet in the woods. I think we're almost certainly going to be attacked before they all make it here. But I'm trying to get as many as possible... Get Bryce over here. Get him over here. Get him over here. And we'll actually fight this battle, but I want to be in formation before we do. There's a lot of British attacking, guys, and I think we need to fight it. So here we go. And look at that, man. That looks rough. They've got plenty of artillery here. I am very nervous. We may need to retreat, um, but we've got to put up a initial stand, I believe. We've got to show the enemy that we mean business, and we've got to try and lower their numbers a bit. So I'm going to do my best to use the trees. I would ask you guys to please like, comment, do all that fun stuff. One, two, three. Oh, man, this is going to be a hell of a fight. Nonetheless, let's get started. Uh, I'm, going to actually, I'm going to go all the way back here and start advancing. Um, we do have, as you can see, a few units, and what I want to do is grab those locations so I'm going to move right over here. And actually, we'll try to just get to this location first. Uh, I am going to advance with the militia units. And I'm already starting to see the Brits. So we want to kind of take a look at this from their perspective, really, uh, to get the guys in the perfect formation. I'm going to grab these guys. I'm going to move them over here. I'm going to use the same uh, tactics that I would use to win an Ultimate General Civil War battle, essentially. Um, so again, putting these guys over here. I hate the, the setup phase here. I don't know. It just feels like this is all messed up. Like, the actual drawing is messed up. Anyway, um, okay, let's grab that. Um, grab some additional forces over here. And again, just gonna put up our best fight. We have secured the farm. That's a start. So initially, I might want to use some of these units just to hold position, um, or act as reserves. But I want to do overwhelming firepower on some of these guys. So let's make sure that our militia can just open up on this British unit. Let's see if we can totally break them. And it's going to take a lot longer for us to do damage to them. Um, and with the artillery, I want to immediately start firing at them. I want to take this uh, unit over here. And I want to start firing um, at a flank. So firing at the enemy's flank, of course. Here we go. Some additional militia units. We'll get them right there to fill the gap. And let's take General Bryce. We're going to just move him back here. I'm not even sure if he's a general right now. However, the battle has commenced. That 66 is looking pretty good. Um, what I am going to do, take these two guys. See, the that's really weird. Um, the... I think they need to fix. There we go. And let's engage that unit. I just don't want them to become a problem. So I'm going to keep them engaged. And again, trying to get in on their flank. See if we have any other units, but I don't believe we do, guys. I think that's pretty much it. So this flank attack is going to be extremely important. Fire! Fire! You can see some of the men have already begun opening up, and I love seeing our cannons hitting the enemy. That's what I'm talking about. Although we're not doing any damage over here, we need to start firing with the militia. And I'm going to make sure that Bryce is supporting the defense in this area. Again, I don't think for a second we can win this battle, but man, if we can hurt the enemy significantly, um, damage their army, uh, it's going to be a start. Because, of course... Our men need to get some battle experience uh, to, of course, unlock the skills 
uh, that will help them get through this war. So we are not going to give up a good fight when we have a chance uh, to go for it. Nonetheless, yeah, the enemy's fighting damn well here. I like that flank, though. Might try to get the guy over here really quickly. Nothing is really quick in these kind of battles. Uh, and I want to fire at the enemy flank, so I am, of course, going to change targets here for these two militia units. Hunter Wilkins, the uh, Hunter Wilkins Brigade, let's call it. I don't know why he decided to move up like that, but okay. Fire! I absolutely love the look of the bodies um, here in the game. They've just done such a great job. They did a great job in Ultimate General Civil War, and even more so here. Come on! I know we're in a terrible spot with these guys, but I have no choice. Uh, the only thing I can do is just get, like, a really quick volley here before I go for the flank. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get, like, a volley right up close and personal. Get these guys on the flank. Get these guys on the flank. Aha! Starting to trap the enemy in, just like Nathaniel Green. We want to fire from those trees. But first, let's get the volley before we start celebrating. And there we go, guys. We are breaking one of Her Majesty's, or His Majesty's units, I should say. King George. And, of course, I'm going to be using that tree line, guys. I'm going to be trying to get into the tree line. I'll leave one of the units there. And as you can see, we are going to need this unit anyway to hold the area. So I'm going to go ahead and start firing. We're already starting to see some breaks. I don't like that. But nonetheless, uh, we shall keep the fight going. All right, not too bad. We've got a route over there, guys. That is crazy. Uh, we need to get these Continental Army units spread out. They are very close together at the moment. That's it. Move back, Bryce. Enemy is going for some pretty nice charges. Let's keep pushing them. Keep on pushing them. And at least we've got a proper battle here. Again, we might not get an initial win. But we want to show the enemy we are capable of a defense. All right, another break on the British lines. And again, I just want to keep that focus all on one unit, ideally. Um, it's going to be a lot easier to break them if we do that. And I must say that right side is weakening. Definitely weakening. it keep it up keep it up i hate seeing those charges but there's nothing we could do about them except try to withstand them right on the damn artillery it's not what i need definitely don't want to lose the arty right back on those cannons and again we are going to continue to fire here um, I'm going to fire right in the middle there make sure Bryce is still okay he is indeed I wouldn't say the situation is stabilizing um, but breaking more enemy units is, is always a good thing and we're doing that for sure I'm going to try to break this 54 here but these charges, these consistent charges, will eventually get through our lines. And I'm thinking, maybe we live to fight another day, um, the famous saying, and fall back, um, keeping a good percentage of our men alive. Oh, shit. I thought they took the damn cannon. Okay. 
Definitely want to grab those cannons. And there we go. Another break. That's what I like to see. A rout, in fact, which means a complete break. They will not be returning to the battle. Uh, but the same goes for our men if we, if we you know, get co completely crushed here. And if we run back to our lines, um, to friendly territory, well, then we actually stand a chance of um, being able to, you know, regroup and, again, fight another day against the enemy. So it's something to think about, at least. I like seeing a few units shattering here, though. Enemy units shattering. I don't know. Maybe we keep on fighting. Race over here. We don't want to lose our general. Major charge from the enemy there. It's going to be very tough at this point to pull our guys out of this uh, this mire. I'd like to think we made a point, but again, we don't have the weaponry that the Brits do. We don't have the training the Brits do. This is super early in the war. I am going to fall back absolutely here. As you can see, 708 enemy down, 1,464 of our men down, both killed and wounded. And those are realistic numbers um, for facing, of course, a professional army like the British. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fall back to our lines, hopefully saving face at this point, getting our guys um, into some of these cities where we have recruits ready to go. And, of course, refilling those units. So, here we go. Straight to Hartford, man. That's what I think is going to be important. Just get back to Hartford. We have unlocked the Quartermaster Department, which is fantastic. So, I'm going to pause here. And just really quickly, uh, we'll go to Headquarters. And I want to unlock just some officer recruitment right now. Uh, we are running out of officers almost always. Um, so, we want to get additional... Damn it. So, sorry about that. Uh, we want to get additional officers, of course. And um, the other thing we want to try and do is go to the market, get some of those damn cannons, man, um, so that we can actually uh, use them, of course, in our units. So I want to just go ahead and get a few of these cannons. It's going to be a lot of money. Um, the same with the muskets. I don't want to just get these garbage muskets. I want to get some brown besses, uh, spend some money on them. Unfortunately, there's not many on the market. Just about two... Uh, just about 24 of them uh nonetheless that'll do and i am gonna fast forward guys we're skipping providence entirely lester has also been taken by the enemy not good um in fact let me check the amount of patriots that we have in providence let's take a look here 49 now if we go to hartford 323 see that's where we unfortunately are gonna have to go all the way back to hartford so let's do that. Let's do what has to be done. The men are exhausted. They need reinforcements. They need rest, um, ammo, you name it. So we're just going to get them all back here. Come on, lads. Now, we can only actually send them into Hartford once they are close by. And look at that. We've got a little unlock for Latrobe. Uh, we'll focus on it. Hey, I might as well hold on. Firearms. I want to go for the firearms course. And Latrobe is going to go into town. Same with Dearborn. Well, virtually every single one of these units, guys, is going to go back into town uh, and try and, of course, find recruits for their individual units. So I'm going to go ahead and pause there for a second so that we can give actual focus here. And we want to send Inman into town for sure. He is hurting. The undercover intelligence officer. We've got an undercover intelligence officer among the British naval ranks. Gathers critical information that British plans and communicates it back to us. The British send French troops to Boston by sea. Not surprising. Um, and at least we're quite far away from Boston over here. Let's grab Wilcox. Get him inside too. And like I said, just about every single one of these units, guys, needs reinforcements, needs some r and um, um, sorry, an R&R, rest and recovery, or rest and organization. We're just going to make up a term there. And over here, it's going to let us know that not enough guns, and this is probably referring to the artillery guns um, at, the, at this time. So I'm going to go back to cannons, go to the three pounders, and let's get a few of those. Four grand for the three pounders, but it's worth it. 
So we're going to let a few days go by, and the Second Continental Congress, uh, realizing the complexity of the situation, wealthy patriots and members of Congress decide to send you help. What do you need the most? And we need um, additional men, really, but in, if we can't get men, then let's just get weapons. Uh, which will allow us to form additional units here. And you can see they are already recruiting in Hartford, Connecticut. I love it. I'm going to grab Bryce. Send him over here. And we are just waiting to unlock additional units to get back into the fight um, for independence, of course. There is a naval battle. I don't think I am going to try it, uh, but if you guys want me to try it, let me know in the comments down below if you recommend I check it out. In the meantime, we're just waiting for these guys to finish up, and we are headed right back out. I think I want to take Lester, um, but Providence, as you can see, is also no longer under our control. So we need to do something about that. I'm going to start moving these units out. And we are going to prepare for yet another fight. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. I do hope you'll be here for the next one. And if you want to see more, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, any unit names you would like, I'll try and rename them um, just as long as you get to the end of these videos. Thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next one.